All right, Mum. I'm at Gatwick. Well, why can't Shiv get her own milk? Well, it was half a... Look, I can't talk about it now. The geezer's just coming for her rivals. Yeah, I'll speak to you later, Mum. Oi! Where you been hiding? Three days I've been looking for you. Now, where's my cup final tickets? That is such a coincidence. I was literally just on the phone, just then, to my connection at Lancaster Gate. Oh, oh, is that right, is it? Yeah, he says there's never been a cup final like it. Tickets like gold dust, apparently. Oh, you said tickets were like uh, confetti, Paul. Yeah, but that was before... Look, I... I don't want to argue about it. We made a deal. Now, you get the tickets, so you're going to be hiding a lot longer than three days. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Paul Clark. Mr. Clark, it would save a lot of trouble if you. Hello. All right, Sean. Just signing on, mate. How much? What cash? Oh yeah, I'll definitely have some of that, mate. Definitely have some of that. You down a gym? Yeah, pick you up in twenty, mate. Sweet, lovely. Yeah, sorry, love. Mr. Yarrow would like to see you in the benefits agency. No, I'm just here to sign on. Yeah, well, you can't sign on until you see Mr. Yarrow. And at 6:34 p.m., you drop the passenger off on the corner of Askew Road and Greenside Close. Passenger? You ain't listening, are you? She's a mate. I was giving her a lift. I see. You usually charge your mates for a lift, do you? Petrol money. What about the receipt you were seeing given her? That weren't a receipt. It's a mate's phone number. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. What a coincidence. She gives you £3.40 for a lift, and your friend's number is simply 340. Yeah, well, she lives in a remote Welsh village, doesn't she? Not all my mates live in London. She's not a mate. No, she is. She's not. She is. She's not. She is. She's not a mate, Mr. Clark. She is one of our investigators, and unfortunately, you have been found working while claiming benefit. Hang on a second. What, what, what day was this? Tuesday, Mr. Clark. There we go. See, I was, I was thinking you were talking about Monday. Oh, Monday. Tuesday was the day this mad bird got in the car and started throwing money at me. Did you want a cab, love? Where are you going? Uh, Green's hat close? Yeah, well, get in quick. I'm not going to pick up in the street. Need to hear more, Mr. Clark. That's it, is it? One poxy tape recording. How long have you been following me to get that? A month? Six months? A year? <laughs> oh, we haven't been watching you, Mr. Clark. You picked up our investigator from outside this building after she'd seen you sign on. She was on her way home, actually. No evidence, that's what gets me sure. Not a shred. 20 people watching me for two months, 24 hours a day, in shifts. You know what they end up with? Some bird reckons she might have caught a glimpse of me, yeah, driving my car with a passenger in the back. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Might as well be living in Greece. Greece? Yeah, you remember. Arresting me the second we landed for no reason at all. Come on, Sean, you've done a whole week's worth of steroids and washed it down with a bottle of duty-free whiskey. You were completely out of control, mate. Right, now I'm skipping time, me Paul. No, 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 we ain't got time for this now. No, no, no. We've got to sort out that job you was talking about. Then I've got to get those Wembley tickets for Calvin. He's already on the phone this morning driving me mad. I don't understand why you just don't use my Wembley connection. Get you in like that! Okay. I appreciate that, Sean, but... Uh, Let's try the legitimate route first, shall we? You know, actual tickets. You're the boss. <laughs> Just saying, you could have had a shower, that's all. You wanted to crack on, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. OK, so, um, just run this by me again. Terry owed me the torch in his mum's house, you know, insurance number. Right. Yeah, and instead of giving me the dough, he's giving me this debt as payment. Right, right. How much was it again? 200. Lovely. Lovely. They're just straight goers, yeah? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, do you, what do you mean you don't know? What's the matter? We can handle it. What's the old bottle going? No, no, not at all. Not at all. 
I just don't want a repetition of the 30 geezers behind the door with baseball bats incident. That's all, Sean. Not me. I love going in blind. It's more of a buzz, isn't it? Oh, God. Hello. I've got a message for Tony Caxton, if that's all right. Thank you. Well, Sean, you better go in first. Seriously, you know you've been a naughty boy. You borrow money, you got to pay it back. Don't make me start performing. Where's the 200 quid? I don't have that kind of money. Well, I'll have to come in and take something, and aren't I? You ain't taking nothing out of this ass. No, you're right, I won't. He will. What about them cup final tickets, Dad? They got to be worth a few, Bob. Calvin's on his way to Wembley. Clark, he got him tickets today. They said he couldn't. They said he wouldn't. He had the old boy's tickets away. <laughs> Calvin's on his way to Wembley. Mind you, you're singing about it, Sean. It's probably the last cup final the poor bastard will ever get to see. <laughs> As for his grandkids, you can just imagine them showing up with their scarves, little homemade flags, faces all painted up, club colours. Been telling their mates how granddad's taken to the cup final. Now you imagine those same little faces when he tells them, sorry chaps, Wembley's off this year. Still, you borrow money, you gotta pay it back. Law of the jungle, isn't it? You're right. Pull over. What? I said pull over! <laughs> Wembley's off! <laughs> stay, stay back. No! Keep walking, keep walking, bud. Steroids! Easy short, mate. Ah! Hold it down, hold it down, mate. All right. Back to the car, come on. Ah! Ah! Oh, mate! 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 For 60, 480, 500, sweet. I owe you a drink, mate. Drink? While you was going on a whole keg of Holston, more like, Cal. Yeah, well, sorry about that, Paul. 20 years I've waited to see my team at Wembley. If I'd have been there, I'd... All right, cheer up, mate. You're going now, enjoy the game. Hey, Calvin? Yeah? If you lose, don't come running to me. The place was an inferno. Of course, you never read about it anywhere because British Special Forces were never meant to be in Mobani. <laughs> Bloody hairy at the time, though. Amazing. No, 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 no. That's amazing. Look at that. I yes. love it. Okay, a little win on the bookies? No, no. I just um, sorted Calvin out with some FA Cup final tickets. Yes. Well, you must be a very well connected young man. I've heard they're like gold dust. Yeah, confetti more like Tim. If you know the right people. Listen, Pint of Holston, Sean. Diet Coke bagging us. Mr. Clark. <laughs> Safe, man. Yeah, Tim, Tim, let me get those, yeah? No, 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 it's all right, Noel, I'll buy my own drinks. What are you saying, man? I can't buy it around for my old spa. What I'm saying, Noel, is that I ain't a mug. So cut the bollocks, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, man, you're good. You're good. All right, hear what, yeah? Word on the street is, you're the man to talk to about FA Cup final tickets. I didn't know you were into football, Noel. Not for me, man. It's for Gary, you know? Well, Gary, Gary? No. Gary Strange? No. Not the hitman. <laughs> what, you promised Gary Whitman tickets for the FA Cup final and you ain't come through? Whew, no, wouldn't like to be in your shoes, mate, I'll tell you that. Seriously, man, can you get him or not? Well, let's have a little think about this. Can we do this? Let's think short. Ooh, can we get him tickets? <sighs> for you, no, not in a million years, you know what I mean? Especially not now I know they're for. I can't believe this. My day just gets better and better. Yeah, just to think this morning, when I saw you in the gym, you was crying like a baby just because they took your doll away, weren't you? I wasn't crying. <laughs> you was crying, was he? I wasn't crying. But it don't surprise me, I ain't got niche without his doll. One word for that. Naive, yeah? You know what the doll meant to me? You're a parasite? Sick. It meant, right, every other Friday, get myself a nice little gram of Charlie, ten pints down here, chicken jowl frazy, taxi home and uh, lovely little brass round off the night. <laughs> Blimey, where do I sign up? <laughs> Can I just put in a second? 